What's up guys, we're on here. This time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're gonna add three hinges and their pie pieces to our dome. Okay guys, so the three dome pieces we're gonna add here, the three that don't have anything underneath them. Um, all they have is a hinge to open them. So of course we start off by sanding the hinge piece itself. Uh, this is the push part of the hinge piece. This is the piece that gets pushed up. Um, basically we're taking the two sides that glue together because it's got two different sides that glue together. Uh, taking the inside and sanding them smooth. Also that gives you a good glue surface. So we're doing that. And here as you saw I was just cutting some uh, push rods. These have uh, two millimeter holes in them. So you can put pins in. This is uh, what everything hinges on are these pins. And I'm using the two holes that are in this piece to line up the two pieces next to each other. So when I put the pins in and then put the glue on it, as you see me doing here, and then I push down on those pins, I push a piece down over those pins, it helps keep the pieces in a line. So that was just an easy way to keep the pieces square to each other. So I let the glue dry a little bit, then pull the pins out, and then sand the face nice and smooth on it. And then I move on to the next one. And of course we're doing three of them, so I repeat this process three times. Uh, one of the things to note here to be careful of is that you don't glue the pins into the holes. Uh, you want to make sure that these pins come out free because these are these are what everything moves on are these pins. So the pins have to rotate free inside the model. So as you can see, I'm really careful when I do it. And I make sure while I'm gluing the piece shut that I keep spinning the little rods. So if there's any super glue on them, hopefully the glue doesn't dry before I pull the pins out. You can see there I'm moving them a little bit and then sanding the face. So we do that to three of them. As you can see this takes just a minute to do. And one thing I'm doing with the drill here is um, Anytime you've ever made holes in plastic and you know you push them flat on the, the build plate, they're not always the correct dimension on the build plate because of the squish. So sometimes the hole's a little too small. So I was using a two millimeter drill bit to open the holes up to make sure they are two millimeters. And you don't have to drill real fast when you're drilling into PLA. You can just do a nice gentle slow spin as long as it just cuts through the plastic. Because if you do it too fast you heat it up and melt it and you don't want to do that. Okay, as you can see here, I'm finishing up the last one, making sure the face of it's nice and smooth, which is the, piece, the part that attaches to the actual pie piece itself. And here I'm kind of doing the same thing to the uh, hinge part that attaches to the inside of the dome. Uh, I'm not using any pins on these to help keep them in line. I just sanded the faces smooth, ran a little bit of glue on the inside of it. Um, now I'm just kind of sanding. Uh, the part that attaches to the dome to make sure it's nice and smooth and level. And as you can see when you put the pin in and then put the piece on there how the hinge moves. And of course I'm going to repeat this again three times because there's three pieces. Um, when you put the super glue on you don't want to put a whole lot but you need to make sure you put enough so it's going to hold the piece. Uh, the more you put, the longer it takes to, to set up, so the more time you have to move the pieces around and the less you put, the faster it sets up, so the less time you have to move the pieces around. So you have to be careful and find a nice balance between how much glue you want to put on as far as time to deal with aligning the pieces. So you don't want to put too much so it takes forever, so the line, you get them aligned and all of a sudden they scoot away from each other. But you also don't want it the second they touch, they instantly cure because sometimes you're not going to get them perfectly together. Um, so it is nice to be able to put them together, move them just a little bit to line them up and then have them start to harden. Here we go, I'm on the last one. As you can see I get just a little bit of time with them, hold them together for just a couple seconds. Drill out the holes at the top again with the two millimeter drill bit. And then I'm just sanding the face of it that attaches to the dome so it's nice and smooth. 
and level so when I glue it to the inside of the dome it'll attach properly. And I'm making sure when I sand it that I don't change the contour of it. Okay, so you can see there I got three good hinges. Now we'll bring the dome up. And we'll pop out all the pie pieces but one. And I'm going to tape this pie piece in place so it doesn't fall out when I turn the dome upside down to put the hinge inside it. Um, I'm using painter's tape basically, so this shouldn't pull any of the paint off when I do it, but you want to make sure before you go sticking uh, tape on a painted surface that that paint is very well dried, because if that paint is at all the tiniest little bit wet, it will pull the paint off. So of course y'all know that I got my dome done months ago as far as painting goes. Um, I haven't clear coated it yet, but that's okay. Um, as far as the colors go, so it's well dried because it's got it had months and months to dry, but usually just a couple days will do it. Okay, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the center of the pie piece. So when I attach the hinge to it, the part that pushes the pie piece out will attach roughly to the center of it. Because that's the way I designed it. So when this pushes on the pie piece, it lifts it roughly from the center and moves it out of the way. As you can see here, I put some glue on it, set the base in place first. I'm not gluing the arm to the pie piece yet. Going ahead and getting the base placed and lined up where I want it and let that set first. And then I'm gonna lift the pipe, lift the hinge piece up that attaches to the pie piece and put some glue underneath it and put it down. And so it'll glue itself in place. As you can see, I've done that. Now I'm gonna peel the tape off real quick. And we'll open it up and test it, make sure it works properly. And you can see how the hinge works. Nice and smooth, pushes the pie piece up out of the way. If I needed to, something could pop out of that area if I wanted it to. Seems to work pretty good. All right, so I put one piece of tape at the top of that to keep that piece in place, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one. Put a little bit of tape on it. The other thing when it comes to this painter's tape is you don't wanna leave it on there for a long period of time. So don't stick it on there and walk away and come back two days later, because if you do that, the glue can stick to the paint too well and start pulling it off. You want to put the tape on, do what you're going to do to it, then take the tape off. Um, any tape that you leave stuck to something for a long period of time eventually will stick really well to it. Okay, as you can see now, I'm going through and doing hinge number two, gluing it in place, giving, making sure it dries enough. I know it's not 100% dry, but I want to make sure it's dried well enough that when I move it around it doesn't hurt it. Uh, one of the other things I did while I was inside the dome before I put the pieces down, as you can see here, is I would sand any paint that was away and then use a wet washcloth to wipe any of the dust out. So I was sanding to a nice, I was uh, gluing to a nice smooth surface because you gotta realize we sprayed a lot of paint on this. So some did get on the inside, so I made sure I sanded it away so I had a good surface to glue to. I would also do the same thing with the pie pieces. I would clean them a little bit. Um, again, looking for roughly center here on that measurement. Um, this whole process wasn't too bad. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes or so to attach these three pieces and glue them in. Uh, to make sure everything worked. Uh, of course, you can kind of see in the flashing on the dome, I was watching TV while I was doing it, sitting in my living room. So as you can see there, now I can take off all the tape on all the pieces, because I have all three glued in place. You can see all three pie pieces open and work just fine. Now I put a little tag at the top of each one to hold them in place again. So now we can flip the dome over and start installing the servos. And the little push rods that push the, um, that attach the servos to the hinges to open. Uh, the first thing I did was, you know, make sure the servos fit, and stuck one in each slot, make sure they properly fall into place. And then I went and Got my little fix-it tool kit so I can get out some um, screwdriver to help screw the servos in place and the servo arms on. Um, 
Now, of course, the first mistake I made here when I was doing this is that I screwed the servo arms on before I opened the holes up on the first one. Uh, the servo arms have, I believe, like one millimeter holes, and I needed uh, two millimeter holes, so I had to pull the servo arm off and drill out the last hole to make it two millimeters because I wanted to go in the very last hole on that servo arm. Uh, you can see here I just drilled out two holes on the push rods and then I've got li two little pins, one slightly longer than the other one because the one that attaches to the servo is real small and then the one that attaches to the hinge itself, well the hinge is thicker so it has to be a little bit longer to go all the way through it. There I was actually drilling out the head of the servo, uh, the servo arm, sorry. Now I'm screwing it all back in place. And I figured out later, after I got done doing all this, that I probably shouldn't have screwed everything in place until I got done with other things, but you learn. Uh, I could have, just putting it all together for right now until I finalize all the hinges and everything would have been a good thing. But it worked, as you can see. It moves nice and smooth. So I'm gluing it back in place. Um, I was having an issue where the pins kept falling out of the rods, but that's okay. I made little caps and I have added those to my Thingiverse files that go on the ends of the rods. Uh, so the hole in the cap is just a little bit smaller than the rod is around, so you can just squeeze them on there with a pair of pliers. Um, I didn't do that in this video. I figured that out after the fact. Um, but I will show a picture of it, what it looks like now on the inside of the dome. So you can see the little caps on the ends of all the rods where it connects. And I did them in yellow so you can actually see them. So you can see there I was playing around with it a little bit and it worked fine. Now to do all three of them. So this takes a few minutes to do. Um, just a matter of drilling out the holes on the push rods, cutting the pins, uh, drilling out the servo arms, screwing everything in place. Um, the only thing I glued here was I did put the screws in for the servos and then put a drop of glue on the back side just to make sure they couldn't pull out or anything. Um, I didn't actually glue the servos in place. Filling out the last hole in the servo arm there. Sticking it on the servo. Now one of the things you want to make sure you do, I guess I should mention this, on the servos is when you go to put the servo on arm, on, excuse me, the servo arm on, is to make sure you move the servo all the way to one of its end stops. Preferably it's low end stop. I moved them all to the high end stop. Um, when I put the servos in, I had to put them in so they were the high the high faults, which we'll explain when we get to the electronics, was down. But make sure you rotate the motor all the way to one of its end stops because these servo motors only move 180 degrees. They don't spin in 360 degrees. They only move 180 degrees. And if you just stick it under anywhere, you don't know what position that servo is in. So you want to make sure you rotate it all the way to one stop and then put your servo arm on. That way you get it nice and smooth and where you want it. Cutting some last pins for the last one here. Sorry about putting the drill in the, in the way. There we go, remove all the tape and test them out. And as you can see, all three of them open. Making sure all the pins are staying in place, which they're moving around a little bit on me, which is what made me start thinking of how am I gonna keep them in place. Checking them again. There we go. All right guys, next time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're gonna animate the three pie pieces on the dome with an Arduino. Alright, so thank y'all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.